Hey, welcome back. It's Just Steffi, and I am on day five of my 30 day challenge of the journey back to a more active, healthier, and intentional life. So glad you can be here today. I'm going to get right to it. So, yesterday, I did 16 hours of fasting. I ate for lunch uh, some soft, medium boiled eggs, macadamia nuts, smoked spicy oysters, and for dinner, I had meatballs and marinara sauce, grilled shrimp, scallops. Uh, plus an orzo pasta salad and uh, lots of blueberries. So that orzo pasta and those blueberries were probably not the best choice because you can see in my blood sugar readings for the day, I was pretty level most of the morning, but then uh, you can see that um, in the evening, my blood sugar, you know, kind of spiked after eating dinner. And the likelihood is you know, the meatballs probably had some breadcrumbs in it. And then also uh, the marinara sauce was probably a little sweet and the orzo pasta and of course the blueberries. So, you know, um, but it did come back down, um, but it did still stay elevated through the evening uh, as I slept. I'm not too worried about it because, you know, I did eat late and, um, you know, some of those things were probably not low carb. Um, but I did sleep well, so I uh, did get a sleep score of 91, um, which is pretty good. So I got a lot of good REM and um, also deep sleep. And also just as good news is my hip just was, it was the first night uh, since I started doing this that my hip did not really hurt that much at all. So it's like a, just a little bit, but it's definitely, definitely better. And my back is definitely better. So I'm looking forward to doing a little bit more exercise. And then uh, my ketones were at 0.2 yesterday before I started eating, which is not very high. Again, wasn't expecting it to be very high because the night before I ate a lot of tortilla chips. And it probably won't be very high today because I'm not really exercising or doing as much exercising as I used to before my surgery. So I think uh, it'll take a while for those ketones to come back to what I'm normally used to. And then I wanted to talk about my day. So my day um, yesterday was not fantastic. I actually, uh, like I mentioned, I woke up yesterday with a lot of feeling of uh, being bloated and also gassy, right? And likely because I ate like a tortilla fiesta um, the night before. And so I wasn't feeling great. Um, and it also started to affect my mood for most of the day. And, uh, and even though I ate a um, pretty good meal, I just was not feeling it. I was feeling like my tummy was just bloated. I wasn't feeling good. And you know, when you just feel like you're in a rut for the day, that's how I felt. I hadn't felt that in a long time, but I could tell I was anxious. I was uh, frustrated. So I was telling myself throughout the day, throughout the afternoon, you know, I really should take a nap, but instead I powered through it. And then by the time that I was like, okay, I had time to take a nap. It was kind of late in the afternoon and I didn't want to take a nap because it was too late in the afternoon and didn't want to mess up my sleep in the evening. So the lesson is for today is allow yourself to take a rest. Um, whatever it is that you need to do, you know, unless it's like deadline and needs to be done at this very, very, very minute, then yes, of course, get that done. But then the moment you can take a break, take a break, man. It's like, I really think that if I had just taken a nap, <clears throat> I probably would have felt not as frustrated at those meetings that I had in the afternoon and probably more productive, even though I powered through it. And just for your mental health, right? It's like the whole day I was fighting, fighting, fighting tiredness. And I really, what's the point? So, you know, and I also told myself, do not make any decisions. So uh, as I was fighting being tired, I was thinking about the videos, about editing, and I was like, oh, you know, why am I even doing this? I mean, what's the point? And then I thought, okay, wait, stop thinking that way. You will feel better tomorrow. You can decide what to do tomorrow. There's no reason to even think about those video edits because you're not gonna be doing them until the weekend anyway. So just deal with what you gotta deal with now and then you know, get to bed <laughs> as soon as you can. So I did go to bed early yesterday, uh, last night, and I woke up this morning and I felt so much better. And I knew I would feel better after a good night's sleep and after getting some rest and after getting rid of that bloated, yucky feeling. Um, I, I just feel so much better. So if you're feeling tired, make sure to take a break, take time for yourself. 
it's okay to take a break. It's okay to let things sit aside for a little bit until you can rest and reset. So make sure to take that time. And don't make any rash decisions while you're in that mood because the likelihood is they will not be the right decision. Okay? So that's it for day five, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, and make sure to like and subscribe and share this series with others. I will put a link uh, here uh, for the playlist. So if you want to see the whole thing from the beginning or if you caught me in the middle, great. Uh, you know, you can always go back to the playlist and, and start from the top. If you're interested in NutriSense, I also have uh, the unboxing video that I'll put over here. All right, talk to you guys later.